Okay, this slideshow is dealing with the pounds formula for water treatment. So what is the pounds formula? Pounds formula is a formula often used in water to calculate the pounds of usage or production or the pounds per day or production in pounds per day of a concentration of something in relations to a volume or a flow. So uh, let's take a look at a formula. Uh, this is used to calculate the loading rate of a product in pounds per day. Uh, let's take a look at the variables. In this one we got Q, which is equal to flow in MGD, concentration, which is equal to milligrams per liter, and the constant, which is 8.34. Here's another example. Here we have feed rate, which is also in pounds per day. In this case, we got flow, which is still in MGD. And in this case, we're using a dosage because oftentimes we use this when we're dosing a flow. Uh, and again, the constant, which is always the same, is 8.34. Um, now we have uh, our chemical dosage which is a little different, but it's still the same concept, right? In this one, instead of treating a flow, we are treating a volume. And in this case, the volume is still in million gallons. The dosage is still in milligrams per liter. And of course, we still got our same constant, which is 8.34. And again, this is for solving for chemical dosage in pounds per day. As you can see, they're all similar. Uh, they all have their intended uses. And uh, this formula is a running, uh, running occurrence in the water and wastewater field. The only difference is what they usually call the variables. Let's take a look at a simple example. For water treatment, the pounds formula is often used for calculating the chemical dosage of certain chemicals, like in this case, we're using chlorine. Here's the example. Your treatment plan is t dosing at 1.5 milligrams per liter of calcium hypochlorite. Your current plant flow is 9 mgd, and we want to know how many pounds per day of calcium hypochlorite must be used for the flow. So after reading the problem, we know that this is going to be a feed rate problem. So we select the feed rate, the feed rate equation. So let's see what we're given. Well, first thing we're given is our flow, which is in 9 mgd, or 9 million gallons per day. What are we given? Well, we're given our dosage, which is 1.5 milligrams per liter. And what are we trying to solve for? Well, we're trying to solve for our feed rate, which in this case is calcium hypochlorite in pounds per day. So when we put it into the equation, we wind up with getting 112.59 pounds per day, or if you rounded it up, you'd get 113 pounds. So in conclusion, you can see that this pounds formula plays a crucial role in the water field. And as an operator, it would behoove you to really study and learn how this formula works. Fortunately, it's not a difficult one to understand, so it should be easy to catch on to. And that concludes this presentation. And have a good day.